Hello, this is Steve Dickerson, Superintendent of Hillsdale Local Schools, and I've been asked the question of how um, we compare to other districts uh, when it comes to taxes, uh, property tax, and income tax. So um, I'm, I'm going to give you just a little bit of information because it's hard to really compare district to district. If you look at some place like Mansfield City or Ashland City or even Worcester City, that has a much higher uh, tax base uh, options as far as business and everything else. It, it's not really competitive. So I'm going to look at a couple of schools around us that is fairly uh, similar. Uh, one being, of course, the Loudonville District and the other being Northwestern District. We're often compared to those districts as in, in many other cases, especially when it comes to academics. So if, if, if you look at the, the Loudonville District and the Northwestern District in Hillsdale, I am basing this information off property value of $100,000 and um, annual income of $50,000. Now I know that there's property values a lot larger and I do know that there may be some, not so many anymore, which the way uh, property has went in, uh, in the market, but uh, there may be some lower. And the same with income, but if you use the comparative number, so this is the same as if you had property in Loudonville, Northwestern, and Hillsdale at 100,000, and if you had an income, the same in each of the districts. Because each of the districts also has an income tax. Um, and we all have the 1.25% income tax. So I thought it was a very good representation, not only in demographics, but in, in the same as far as tax base. So if you look at it, if you take the $100,000 property value and the $50,000 income on an annual basis in the Loudonville School District, you would be paying uh, $45 more than you would at Hillsdale. And on the um, other note, that in the Northwestern School District, you'd be paying uh, about $100 less than what you're paying here. So you can see of the three districts that we're often compared with and we're neighboring here, uh, that's including us, that uh, we are all in line with the tax base uh, that they're putting on um, in their communities. Now, again, a lot of this is uh, driven from income that, you know, you look at state income, which in another video I know I've mentioned, our state revenue for Hillsdale has not changed in the 10 years I've been here. As we mentioned with these three school districts, uh, the one thing that's not on here and will not be on here is any type of dollars associated with a bond issue uh, because we have been able to build the, the brand new facility that will open this next school year without any additional taxpayer dollars. If at any time you have questions, please reach out to me at 419-368-8501 or by email at hill underscore dickerson at tccsa.net. Thank you.